What's up everybody? Evan here with Evans Detailing and Polishing. I uh, posted a picture yesterday uh, definitely talking about hash marks and I said if I got a thousand likes and 150 comments or 100 comments, something crazy that um, I'd do this video. I've been dreading this video forever because the camera doesn't exactly catch it. Um, for all of you that have done, gone and done uh, my class here, uh, you've seen me perform this live and you've seen me show it to you. Um, but for those of you that haven't taken the class, this is the closest thing I'm going to be able to get. Um, you wanted it, here it is. This is going to be raw, unedited, uncut. We're going to try to do this in one shot. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. Um, what I have is I have my respirator, which I always have for my full face. Uh, we've got an orange buff down here, brown compound. We've also got a yellow buff for coloring with green compound. Um, we're not going to do complete no hash marks because that video would take days. Uh, it's a multi-length process. What I'm going to show you is a simple two-step process. It's the easiest process to get the best available shine in the quickest amount of time. Um, and for 9 out of 10 people, it's more than acceptable. It'll minimize your level of hash marks. And minimizing your level of hash marks is what 9 out of 10 people seem to be looking for. Um, even some of my show stuff that goes to the shows is far from perfect. A lot of the stuff that comes out of my shop is far from perfect. None of it's museum quality stuff. Um, but what I'm going to show you here is my fuel tank. And I'm going to show you two different processes. This side over here, I'm going to go this way. And this side over here, I'm going to go this way. And then I'm going to step aside, grab the camera, come up, zoom in on it, show you what I'm looking at. And then we'll go to the color and we'll do the same exact thing all over again. But watch, I'll use the same pressure and the same technique on both sides, same amount of compound on both sides. I'll try to keep all of my variables to an absolute minimum. So hopefully this makes sense to everybody. Um, if you ever get a chance to come here and see it in person, seeing it in person makes way more sense than this video probably will. Um, but I'm gonna try to show you the hash marks in the light. Um, we shot this video once before, it didn't work. Uh, we're kind of trying to figure it out here, so I'm going to take a second shot at it. So this is uncut, unedited. Let's check it out and watch. Hopefully we don't pop a breaker this time. <laughs> Orange buff, brown compound. Alright, so I'm going to grab the camera here for a second, and you can kind of see it already. The left side is hashier than the right side for sure. Um, what you're seeing is brown compound. Brown compound is pretty aggressive, um, but you can see a lot more hash marks in that left side. See how it's real light in color, and the right side is way darker and clearer already. What you're seeing is the light reflecting up and down versus side to side. When light is reflecting up and down, our brains are trained to see that before that. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my yellow buff and the green compound and I'm gonna color both sides and show you that technique and pattern does make a huge difference. And of course compound does as well, but. I'm gonna rake out, grab a yellow with a green. Just a quick rake. Yellow with green.
Now, if you look at it, this side over here still looks hashy and hazy because we cut horizontal and this one over here looks crystal clear. Why is that? Because we cut and colored vertical. Now I think you can see this, I can see it on my little monitor here, but this looks way clearer than this one does. Up here it's a little hashy only because I didn't want to get cross contaminated with the brown so I stopped early, but as you can see it's way clearer down there than it is over here. That's all hashy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Ty go over and turn that tank so the two pieces go the opposite way. Help me spin it. Turn it all the way. Right there. All right. So now, if you look closely. We just switched that up completely. Now this one, the one that looked clear before, now looks hashy. Why is that? Because now what was vertical is now horizontal and the light's reflecting the other way. If you look at the bottom, now the bottom looks crystal clear without hash marks. Why? Because what was horizontal is now vertical. So now if we switch it back again, like I said, this is all completely unedited. Get it to about, 20%, 20 degree angle there. Nope, it's gotta go a little more to get to 20 degrees. Right now it's about 15. A little more, right there. Now, if you look, both of them look like they're hash free. That right side's still at a little bit of an angle, so you're still seeing a little bit of hash marks on that right side. But, if we turn it back to square, what was horizontal is now vertical, what's vertical was horizontal, and you can see they cleared themselves right back up again. Go ahead and zoom that out. Polishing is part of an optical illusion. Yes, we're physically making the metal smoother and shinier, but at the same time, we're trying to project and reflect light. The way the light reflects is what also makes a huge difference. So the people that tell you that they can polish without putting hash marks in it, yes, it is possible. It just takes a very long time. The people that are telling you that everything has to be hash marked, it's completely false. I've seen a lot of stuff that can be done without hash marks. It's very expensive and very costly to do because it's a very lengthy process. But depending on what the customer is looking for, you can make it acceptable to nine out of 10 people just by doing a simple two-step process. Now, if I were to step it down to multiple buffs and multiple compounds, I can make it even nicer than this. But this is the simplest way to show you that technique does matter. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. It's been a pain trying to get this thing visible so that everybody can see it and understand it. I know this is gonna raise a ton of more questions, but thank you for watching and subscribe to that YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys also watching on Instagram and Facebook following and liking all my stuff. I truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time.